Hello, and welcome to our super short video on inserting and deleting columns and rows within Excel Office 0365. As you can see on our screen, we have a super complex Excel sheet here with uh, four different columns, first name, last name, mailing address, and email address, and then five made-up patrons' data inserted into our sheet. In our scenario here, we've decided that we want to keep track of cell phone numbers or a, a phone number to contact uh, these patrons. And we've decided that we want that to be listed after the last name before the mailing address. To do so, we're simply going to insert a new column named phone number. To do so, to insert it between column B and column C, we're going to left mouse click on column C, right mouse click on column C to get the menu to pop up, and we're going to simply left mouse click on insert columns. As you can see, it moves every it moves column D and E, the mailing address and email address over, giving us a new column. In here, we can simply write phone number, adjust the width of the cell, and now we've inserted a new column named phone number. If you want to delete this column, the same method, left mouse click on column C, right mouse click on column C to get the pop-up menu, delete columns, and column D then disappears, and all the columns move to the left one section. The same methodology goes if you need to insert a row. Now, in this situation, we obviously could just insert a new row in row C, a new record. Um, for whatever instance, if we want to insert this new row in the middle of our data, let's say we want to insert it between Pat and Joe here, we're going to left mouse click on row 4, right mouse click on row 4 to get our pop-up menu, and click insert row, and again it'll move everything down, inserting a new row before uh, the existing row. To delete this, exact same thing, right mouse click, delete rows, and your rows have been deleted. Again, super simple, inserting and deleting columns in rows in Microsoft 0365.